When Hawaii saw its first cases of COVID last year, no one knew how long and how hard the virus would hit our community. And we talked with Kalihi Palama Health Center about their response from the start and how the clinic is handling medical needs right now. Michael Walter, he's the interim medical director. Thank you so much for joining us on Living Away, taking the time out. No, thank you, John. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we appreciate it. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to just jump right into it. How has Kalihi Palma, uh, Palama Health Center responded to the pandemic? I, I know that's that's what we're talking about, COVID-19. Uh, would you mind telling our viewers? We're a nonprofit community health center. Uh, we've been impacted uh, just like everybody else, but we've been fortunate. We've been able to maintain services throughout the pandemic, uh, medical, behavioral health, uh, all of our other services. And uh, we don't just do testing. We don't just do vaccine for COVID. We do those things, but we try to always do them in the context of uh, over overall wellness of the patient. Michael, let me ask you this. How, how has the COVID-19 pandemic affected the future of Kalihi Palama and the communities that you guys serve? Uh, we have to be creative, uh, we have to be uh, pragmatic in our approaches and uh, make sure that we're uh, addressing um, all the needs that our patients have. You know, like our predecessors uh, that had to deal with things like polio and smallpox and TB, and uh, you know, this is our turn. We have to address this professionally, carefully from a, a public health standpoint. You know, public health is what uh, made those other conditions uh, where we were able to live with them in public health as well to get us through this one. So we have to work together. Uh, we have to make sure we understand how COVID has impacted other diseases to make sure that we're not letting people fall through the cracks while we're putting all this attention and effort into COVID-19. What, what would you say uh, to the folks that are still not quite sure? There's so many different opinions about the vaccination. But what would you say to those that are still on the fence about it or strongly opposed to the vaccination? The most common thing I hear will, will be things like, I'm not ready yet. And for those patients, I just tell them, you know, look at what your risks are. You look at your the security of your family bubble, uh, the things you like to do. Do you like to travel? Do you like to go to gatherings? Do you have a lot of people coming in out of your home? Do you have kids going to school? Do you have elderly, high-risk folks in your home? And you know, for those who you know, get vaccinated, if you if you're not ready for yourself, you know, be ready for them and try to help them. So for the ones that are just a little scared, you know, maybe they're scared of needles or things like that, then I just recommend you know, COVID is going to be here for a long time, and it's eventually going to reach all of us. We all get colds and flus from time to time, and COVID is so much more contagious and so much worse. And if you get it, we have no way of predicting how you're going to respond. You could be very healthy and strong, have a good strong immune system, and still. Uh, we, it could be very devastating for you. And for those that are kind of nervous about side effects, you know, we acknowledge that side effects are uh, going to happen. But to keep it in perspective, you know, when uh, the side effects, uh, most of them are mild and, and temporary, and, and some may be more serious, but the scale of it is going to be just, you know, a handful of every 100, 200,000 doses of vaccine. When we look at the case counts we're having, you know, 400, 600, 500, 600 a day, out of that cohort, just for that day, we know those 500 people that are positive today, dozens of them are gonna end up in the hospital and at least one, maybe three, four are gonna die from COVID-19. So that's uh, much more of a concern. For the people that are much more ardently against vaccines, I just try to emphasize that in my best honest opinion, the vaccine is the best way to keep yourself out of the ICU. Well, I really appreciate your time. I'm gonna give you just a moment more to uh open it up if there's anything else you'd like to add about Kalihi Palama Health Center or possibly COVID-19 uh, this is your time go ahead sure. uh, yeah so we're part of a, a network of community health centers uh, all of the community health centers in your area they're nonprofits they're there for the community they're people from the community work there and uh, uh, so please take advantage of those of access to the care there we uh, don't turn anybody away based on their ability to pay. We have extensive services. Uh, come work with us to help my community better. As far as COVID-19, you know, be, they say be courageous, not contagious. If you're exposed, get tested. Uh, stay home until you know. Uh, if your kids are sick or you're feeling sick, stay home, get tested. If you're negative, great. If you're feeling better, you can go back to work, go back to school. If you're positive, then it gives you the information you need to make the best decisions for your family to protect your coworkers, to protect your friends, and to protect your teachers and other kids at school. Mikey, thank you so much for your, your time. I appreciate it. Well, sure. Thank you so much for having me on. More information about them on our website shortly after the show, khon2.com.
And uh, it's worth giving a big shout out to all our health workers who really had to step up and go on and on since the beginning of this from 2020 and put up with all the different changes, mm -hmm. vaccinated, unvaccinated, and working around the clock. Yeah, I see it, you know, I see it at, at home. Mm -hmm. I hear the stories uh, just about daily. Right. Mm -hmm. so.